What exactly is a dry hire wedding venue? It's the same as a blank canvas space wedding venue. In this video, I will tell you what it is and also give you a couple of examples of some dry hire wedding venues in Hampshire. I'll also pop a link to a more comprehensive blog post if you wanted to read more about it after watching this video. I'll put the link down below. Okay, let's get started. Hello, my name is Jenny, if you're new here, and I am a wedding photographer and a family photographer based in Winchester in Hampshire in the UK. I love talking about weddings and also about photography, so on this channel I make videos about both topics. So do please subscribe if you are interested in both wedding planning or wedding photography or just photography in general. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll know when my next video is coming up. Okay, so what exactly is a dry hire wedding venue? Last month I made a video on how to save on your wedding venue costs and in that video, I'll link it there, I did talk about dry hire wedding venues as a way of maybe saving a little bit on your wedding venue costs. This is because a dry hire wedding venue is basically you hiring just the space or the place for your event or your wedding reception. So that's all you are actually hiring. You're just hiring the room. So you have to basically bring in everything else. That means all the furniture, the decorations, the cutlery, the crockery, the linen, the, the people. Your catering needs to be brought in and also the staff to serve. So basically everything. So in that video, I did mention that it's one of the ways to save because if you are a creative person and you like to DIY stuff, then that's one way of saving by hiring a dry hire wedding venue, making a lot of the stuff that you need and bringing it in. But that's not always the case because you may decide to hire a dry hire wedding venue, blank canvas space, but then you might decide to spend a lot on the other things that you're actually bringing into that space. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a cheap way of having a wedding, although it is a possibility. So a dry hire wedding venue is basically almost the polar opposite to say a venue like a hotel venue where everything is provided for you and you don't have to think about bringing in that many extra suppliers. I've also always uh, interchanged them with a blank canvas space as a wedding venue, but that's not necessarily the case either because with a dry hire wedding venue, now that room or that space might actually be in a historical building and so it may not necessarily be uh, plain or blank or the rooms may be dry hire but still be decorated in a certain way which you might not be able to change very much. So sometimes dry hire places aren't always going to be blank canvas spaces although often they are. For example, recently I went to the grand opening of a brand new wedding venue here in the south coast. It's called The Boat Shed and it used to be an old boat shed. So it's a very industrial looking space with nautical boaty type props which you can incorporate in your wedding decor or you could choose to maybe hide. Also take a look at this village hall which has some amazing murals on the walls. So you see, even if it is a dry hire wedding place, that it might not necessarily be a blank canvas one. So typically, if you are looking around for a dry hire wedding venue, you're looking at barns, barns which are actually often on working farms because they're often more bare. You do get barn wedding venues which are already managed by a company and so in effect they're kind of quite similar to uh, some hotel venues where there's a lot of things provided for you already. But barns and working farms tend to be a little bit more bare. Other places that you could look at are also village halls or community rooms or church rooms. They are also often fairly plainly decorated and so you could come in and put your stamp on the decoration for your day. So now why would you want to hire a dry hire wedding venue? As I said already, they usually are blank canvas spaces and so you can really let your creativity and your imagination run wild and decorate your venue 
to reflect what you and your partner are really like. Now, as I said, you can end up spending as much as you want on making your venue um, as personal to you as possible, or you could choose to be really frugal and make things yourself, maybe get friends and family to contribute towards uh, making things and bringing in uh, crockery and cutlery and that kind of thing. So it really depends on what you want to do as a couple and also what your budget is. So I think that's one of the main positives for hiring a dry hire wedding venue is that you can personalize it very much to you and what your partner are like. Now, the downside is you do have to be super, super organized and super on top of things, especially on the day, because you are going to be juggling a lot of wedding supplies and a lot of differing timelines. But you can also hire a wedding planner and also an on-day coordinator if you think things might get a little bit too stressful. Another word of warning about hiring dry hire wedding venues is that you do need to check with them if they have any restrictions on any other suppliers coming in. The last thing you want to do is actually hire a place and then find out that the other supplier that you really wanted to bring in couldn't work there for whatever reason. Sometimes this usually has to do with catering. For example, there may be places that would prefer you to hire their own catering because obviously they know how they work in that space. So do check with the venue that you're thinking about hiring if there are any restrictions about who you bring in. So what do you think? Would you rather go with a dry hire wedding venue or would you rather go with a venue that actually handles everything and has an all-inclusive package? Let me know in the comments down below. That's it for now. Again, like and share and subscribe if you haven't already and see you again next time. Bye.